Before I start, I just want to say that please comment down below what you'd like to see next. I am completely out of ideas. So anyway, now you clicked on this video because you want to make your own tic-tac-toe using redstone. So the first step is obviously making this the board, the screen thing. So you're going to want to place down blocks in a sort of manner like that and this is where the x's and o's will appear uh -huh. okay then two blocks right there at the bottom and two glass right there you're also going to want to place a block right there and a block right there. So this pattern is easily repeatable for more of the cells. So just yep, simple yet effective. And these two blocks here have to be glass or it won't work. Yeah, so then a repeater will go in there. Redstone would go on the glass and underneath. Then we also need to place redstone here. A block there. A repeater there. Redstone there. And turning on this redstone down here will make an X and the one on top would make an O. Very simple, but now we need to add more. Block there, redstone there, and two blocks here, and then two comparators in subtract mode. This is, might be getting a bit complicated, but it all works, so. That's good to know. Slab or glass here, it doesn't really matter. Puck there. Torch there. Redstone dust here and here. And then a, a repeater here. This is going to be how we choose between X's or O's. And that would be great. Like that. Now we need a way to uh, make it so it has to have a button pressed to turn on. We're going to have a block there, and there, there, and there, and right there. Redstone torch here, redstone dust, redstone dust. This will not yet though. Um, yeah. Boom. Boom. This is the line that'll turn the thing on. So when this gets power, then It'll be the X or the O, depending on the other line. Great. Now that you have this basic thing done, you have to repeat it to get your 3x3 three three board. And when you're done, it'll look something like this. How cool. The next step is to put together the different lines. So from here, you're going to want to take a line down. Alternating side and side.
chain. You're gonna wanna do this for all of them, all three of these lines. And this would be how the how it chooses between X's and O's. So these will all be connected. But the other ones won't, so that's something to worry about. Not really it's not that difficult. Line number three going in. Great. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, okay. So far, that's all well. Um, 15. Nice. Okay. And then, torch, redstone line. Repeater, repeater, I think it is. That's not what it is. What was it? Um. Repeater, repeater, and then two here, block there, that there. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that will be here, and this will change it. Every time it gets an, an input of redstone, it'll, it'll switch. And that's how you choose between the X's and the O's. That's all. Nice and good. So, now that that is done, all of these lines have to be put into the input, but the input will be different. I have a version that only works on bedrock, so... I, yeah, this thing, this works on Bedrock, but not Java, so, I, that won't work on Java, but the rest of this should. Okay, so I did some thinking, and I want to make a design that, for the input, that will work on both Java and Bedrock. And I'm gonna be honest, the best thing I could come up with was just a grid of levers. Honestly, pretty disappointing. Quasi-connectivity is just very, very painful to work with. But this should make setup a lot easier if you're building this. So I'm just going to start with the bottom ones. Mm -hmm. So the one wire will go in here. Got one over here. Just bring these around. Great. Boom. 
you're just going to want to hook up the levers to the buttons as long as they correspond to each other. Shouldn't be incredibly difficult. Just a wall of wires is all that's needed. Easy. This is one of the most simple parts, but it takes a lot of time. It's rather annoying. So... This one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh boy. Yeah, make sure you hook them up to the correct ones. It is very important. Very. Okay. Just this part is not that difficult, so I'm just gonna skip to when this is done. All hooked up, should look nice and simple. It should be working. But it's only X's, which leads us to the next part of this, which is the turn changing. You could manually change it with the lever, but this is going to be a lot simpler, more simple. It's going to just need a little bit of thinking. Just put an observer there. And what I am doing right now is just trying to f actually all I need to do is just hook up an observer to all three lines over here and all six lines over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then with that, you have all nine lines together. All of them should be easily able to link up. Just... That seems a bit excessive. Uh, 
Anyways, just hook them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, great. That's all of those put together. Building a glass column here to send a signal downwards easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bring those two together. And eventually just lead it into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that should be the entire thing.